Someone gave me this advice about a decade ago, and they said, hey, uh, they were speaking to ministry leaders and said, ministry leader, uh, I want you to think about what you want to, who do you, who do you want to be at age 60 or 70? At the time, I was like, man, that's forever. Who do you want to be? What kind of pastor do you want to be? And someone asks you, what kind of husband, what kind of wife, what kind of friend, what kind of uh, uh, person, whether single married, who do you want to be when you're 60 and you're 70 years old? Who do you want to be? Do you think about that? Do you pray about that? Do you pray like, God, when I, I, want, I want to finish well. I want to end well. I want to live well. And help me get there. And some of you will go, well, I just want to be rich. I just want to have a lot of money. I want to just, and it's all about you. And that's fine. You can think about that. But I just want you to be clear of what, what's going on in your mind. I'd hope that if your mind is like, it's all about you, that today it would, it would transition to being all about Jesus. But let's just ask, where are you at? Where are you at? Like, when you're 60, when you're 70, when you're 80, who do you want to be? What kind of character do you want to have? Like, if you want to have godly character, and when you're 60 and 70, 80 years old, guess what God is doing right now? He might be answering your prayer, forging your character right now. And it might be hard-pressed. Your marriage might be a mess. It might be a lot of fighting. It might be a lot of, of conflict resolution. It might be a stress at jobs. It may not, you may not be able to pro- have the, the provision you had hoped to have at this point in your career. There may be a lot of disappointment, a lot of letdown. There may be a lot of frustration with your kids. There may be a frustration that you can't have kids. Like they, Abraham and Sarah went through all of that. Couldn't have kids, didn't have a home, famine, pandemic. They had it all. They had it all. But what was present in their life was faith. They trusted God. And when they sinned, they saw their, God pursued them. And so what I want you to do is as you're thinking about who you want to be, in the meantime between here and there, then we must see our sin and our shortcomings and our folly as an invitation to run to Jesus and not an invitation to run from Jesus. Jesus.